Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We celebrate today the baptism of the Lord. This also reminds us of our commitment as baptized Christians. And uh, we also join in prayer with the devotees of Poon Nazareno of Quiapo that although they will not be able to come physically to Quiapo, may their love for Jesus, the Poon Nazareno, increase through their prayers and their sacrifices during this day. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty oh God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, 
we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are, you are seated, seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Have, Have mercy on us. us. For, you For you alone are the, are the Holy One. One. You alone are the Lord. You alone, you alone are, are the Most High, High Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Be the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit in the glory of God the, the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, when the Christ had been baptized in the Jordan River, and as the only, as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort. Give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up unto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by a strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the youth with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. You have spread out the heavens like a tent cloth. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. You have constructed your palace upon the waters. You make the clouds your chariot. You travel on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, and flaming fire your ministers. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. How manifold are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures, the sea also, great and wide, in which are schools without number of living things, both small and great. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. 
They look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. When the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. One mightier than I is coming. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Praise, glory to you, O Lord. The people were filled with expectation, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water. But one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
Mahalaga sa ating mga katoliko ang binyag. Pagkasilang ng bata, ang sunod na pinaghahandaan ng mga magulang ay ang binyag ng kanilang anak. Madalas, kapag pinag-uusapan ang binyag, ang binibigyang diin ay ang pagtanggal ng kasalanang mana. Kailangan mabinyagan upang matanggal ang original sin. Totoo, nakakatanggal ng kasalanan ang binyag kasi tayong lahat ay pumasok sa mundong ito na may dagta ng kasamaan. Pero ang mas dapat bigyang diin sa binyag ay ang pagiging anak ng Diyos. Sa binyag, tayo ay inampon ng Diyos na maging anak niya. Ibinigay sa atin ang kanyang banala espiritu upang matawag natin siyang Diyos ko, Ama ko. Ibinigay sa atin ang buhay ng Diyos sa binyag. So we are all born again at baptism. Isinilang uli sa isang bagong buhay ang buhay ng Diyos, the grace of God. Ito po ay grasya. Naging anak tayo ng Diyos, hindi dahil sa anumang kabutihan ng ating ginawa, kundi dahil sa pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus sa atin, biyaya ng Diyos ito, regalo niya. Kaya tayo ay naging anak ng Diyos, kapatid ni Heso Kristo, templo ng Espiritu Santo, kasapi ng simbahan na siyang pamilya ng Diyos at mga tagapagmana na ng langit. Ganon kahalaga ang binyag para sa atin. Dito tayo nagiging Kristiyano. Pero si Jesus, bakit siya bininyagan? Hindi ba anak na siya ng Diyos? Hindi ba wala naman siyang kasalanan na kailangang patawarin? Ano ang kahulugan ng kanyang binyag na ating inaalaala ngayong araw? Ayon sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayong linggo, ang kanyang binyag ay ang pagpapatutuo ng, sa mga tao kung sino siya. Ito'y pagpapakilala sa kanya. Bako siya mabinyagan, kilala siya ng iilang mga tao na isang karpentero na galing sa Nazaret, Galilea. Isang pangkaraniwang manggagawa lamang siya. Pero sa pagbibinyag sa kanya, pinatutuhanan ni Juan Bautista sa mga taong nandoon na siya ang inaantay na darating ang inaantay ayon sa payag ni Propeta Isaias sa ating unang pagbasa na magbibigay ng kaligtasan at kaaliwan sa mga taong pinahihirapan ng kasamaan. He will come baptizing with power and with the Holy Spirit. Bumaba din sa Kanya, sa Kanyang binyag, ang Espiritu Santo sa anyo ng kalapati at pinuspos siya ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos. He was filled with the power of God by the Holy Spirit. Nandoon din ang patutuo ng Ama sa pamamagitan ng boses na mula sa langit na nagsabi sa Kanya, Ikaw ang aking mahal na anak na lubos kong kinalulugan. Ipinakilala si Yesus sa lahat at ngayon sinimulan niya, niya ang kanyang misyon. Nagsimula na siya ng kanyang public ministry. Hindi na siya umuwi sa Nazareth. Ang kanyang naging headquarters ay ang Kapernaum na nasa tabi ng lawa ng Galilea. Umikot na siya sa iba't ibang nayon upang magpahayag ng mabuting balita at mangaral sa mga tao. Nagpagaling na siya sa mga may sakit, 
nagpalaya sa mga demonyo at nagpatawad ng mga kasalanan. Sa maikling salita, naging hayag niya ang kanyang pagmimisyon. Ang binyag ni Jesus ay ang simula ng kanyang pagmimisyon para sa ating kaligtasan. Ang binyag ni Jesus ay maaari ding tingnan na isang paraan ng kanyang pakikipag-ugnay sa atin, identifying himself with our human situation. Si Juan Bautista ay nagbibinyag sa Ilog Hordan upang manawagan ng pagsisisi. Ang tumatanggap sa kanyang panawagan ay lumulusong sa Ilog Hordan kung saan sila ay pinaliliguan ni Juan na tanda ng kanilang pagsisisi. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng binyag. Pinaliliguan, dinidinisan. Ibig nilang malinisan na sila sa kadumihan ng kanilang kasalanan. Ang panlabas na paglilinis ng tubig ng ilog ay tanda ng kahandaan nila ng pangkaloobang paglilinis sa kanilang mga kasalanan. Kahit na si Jesus ay walang kasalanan, lumusong din siya sa ilog hordan upang makiisa sa ating makasalanang kalagayan. Inangkin ng isang walang kasalanan ang ating kasamaan. He identified himself with our sinfulness. Mas naging ganap ang pagkaing ito noong siya ay namatay sa kalbaryo. Wala naman siyang kasalanan, pero pinatay siya bilang isang makasalanan. Siya ang nagbata ng ating mga pagkukulang. Pinaghahampas siya at namatay siya kasi tinanggap niya ang ating kasamaan. Ang pakikiisa ni Jesus, ang anak ng Diyos sa ating kalagayan, kalagayang makatao, ay nagsimula nung siya ay isilang na tao. Kinuha niya, nakiisa siya sa ating pagkatao. Sa kanyang binyag, nakiisa siya sa ating pagiging makasalanan. Sa kalbaryo, inangkinan niya at binayaran ang ating mga kasamaan. Sa atin ngayon, ano naman ang kahulugan ng binyag ni Jesus? Kahit na ang binyag na tinanggap natin ay iba kaysa binyag ni Jesus, may minsahe pa rin sa atin ang binyag niya. Sa ating binyag, hindi lang tinanggal ang ating mga kasalanan at hindi lang tayo naging anak ng Diyos. Ang ating binyag ay ang ating pakikiisa din sa misyon ni Jesus. May misyon ang bawat isa sa atin dahil sa tayo ay binyagan. Ang misyon ito ay ang isa buhay, ang pagiging anak ng Diyos at isulong ang gawain ng kaligtasan. Ang kaligtasan ay hindi lang para sa atin. We are not just the recipients of salvation. Ito ay para din sa iba. So we become heralds of salvation. Kaya tayo na nakatanggap na nito ay may pananagutan na ito ay ibahagi din sa iba. Ito ang ibig sabihin ng gifted to give. Ang pananampalataya, ang kaligtasan ay isang gift isang biyaya na tinanggap natin. Binigyan tayo nito, makiisa tayo na ito'y ibahagi sa iba. Ginagawa natin ito sa ating pagiging saksi sa pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin. Naranasan natin ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Inampun tayo bilang mga anak niya. Ganon tayo kamahal. Ganon ako kamahal ng Diyos. Kaya, Mamahalin ko rin ang aking kapwa kasi minamahal ako ng Diyos. Ang kaligtasan na ating tinanggap ay hindi lang para sa ating kaluluwa. 
Hindi lang ito para sa langit na tayo makapasok ng langit. Ang kaligtasan ito ay para sa ating buong pagkatao at para sa lahat ng mga tao at para sa atin ngayon na rin. Hindi lang pag tayo ay namatay na. At ngayon pa lang ay kumikilos na at dapat maramdaman na ang kaligtasan sa lahat ng uri ng kasamaan. Kaligtasan sa pagsisinungaling, kaligtasan sa pagsasamantala, kaligtasan sa pagwawalang kibo, kaligtasan sa pagnanakaw, kaligtasan sa pagkasira ng buhay, kaligtasan sa pagkasira ng kalikasan. Ang mga ito ay dinidenounce natin kasi hindi ito ayon sa plano ng Diyos, sa balak niya para sa atin. Ayaw nito ng Diyos, kaya inaayawan din natin ang mga ito. Nagsasalita tayo laban sa mga ito at hindi tayo nakikiisa sa magumagawa ng pagsisinungaling, ng korupsyon, ng pagkasira ng buhay, pagkasira ng kalikasan, at ang mga lahat ng kasamaan. Ipakita natin ang ating misyon para sa kaligtasan ngayong naghahanda tayo sa halalan sa eleksyon. Huwag tayong makiisa sa mga taong sinungaling at nanloloko Itatwa ang mga mamamatay tao o nagpapapatay na mga tao. Huwag natin kampihan ang mga naninira ng kalikasan tulad ng pagsulong ng mina o ng coal power plants. Kung may benepisyo man na binibigay ang mga ito, ang pagmimina, ang coal power plants, pansamantala lang ang mga ito at ang kapmakatpaninirang resulta nito ay pangmatagalan. Naranasan natin ang bagyong si Udet. Ito ay dala ng climate change. Ako'y galing sa Palawan at dinaanan kami ng bagyo na ma hindi naman dinadaanan ng bagyo ang Palawan. Maraming pagkasira. Ito'y dahilan sa climate change. Talagang nagbabago ang klima dahil sa mga polisiya na mapaninira ng tao baka paninira ng kalikasan. Malawak pala ang kahulugan ng binyag ni Jesus. Ang kapistahan natin ay hindi lang tungkol sa nangyari kay Jesus. Ang kanyang binyag ay nagpapaalaala sa atin ng isang bahagi ng ating binyag, ang misyon natin para sa kaligtasan. Ang kaligtasan ng buong pagkatao natin hindi lang ang ating kaluluwa. Ang kaligtasan ng lahat ng tao, lalong-lalo na ang mga may hirap. Ang kaligtasan ng buong mundo, kasama na ang kalikasan. At ang kaligtasan para sa ngayon, hindi lang para sa kinabukasan. Dahil sa tayo ay binyagan, kumilos tayo para sa kaligtasan. Hindi lang tayo tagapagtanggap ng kaligtasan. Tayo ay tagapagsulong din nito para sa lahat. Makiisa tayo sa misyon ni Jesus. Let us together profess our common faith as God's people. I believe in one God, one God Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, of all, all things, things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God, God from true God, God begotten, not made, not made consubstantial, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him, him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, 
and by, by the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became, and became man. For, For our sake, he was, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance, in accordance with, the with the Scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, and is seated, seated at the right, at the right hand, hand of God, God the Father. He will, he will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and, the dead. and his, his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. On this day, the heavens were opened as the Spirit descended upon Christ at His baptism. In prayer, we ask the Father to unseal the fountain of His blessings upon the world. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, like her Lord, the Beloved of the Father, that his favor may always rest upon her, and his spirit overshadow her with truth and power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with the work of the government, that they may serve the cause of right and strive to establish true justice on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who become lukewarm in their faith, that the Spirit given in their baptism will rekindle faith and love in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For ourselves and our community, that we may eagerly follow Christ's call at our baptism and establish true justice on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the departed whose memory we recall, that the power of God's grace may bring them to the fullness of glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, by our baptism, you adopted us as your sons and daughters. Hear our prayers through that favor which rests us upon us, your beloved Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Sandali ng aking buhay, pa 
Nagpapasasalamat sa iyo'y walang hanggan. Peace Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the jubilation of, of the, the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of Him who willed in His compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the Spirit's descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the, the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please then. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and, and in, in him, him, O God, God Almighty Father, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever, forever and ever. Amen. As children of God, we call with confidence our Heavenly Father in the words our brother Jesus taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Before we receive the final blessing, I would like to thank all of you for coming this morning to the Manila Cathedral. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa ating banal na pagdiriwa ngayong umaga ng kapistahan ng pagbibinyag sa ating Panginoon. Maraming salamat din po sa mga kapatid natin na nasa labas na matyagang nakikiisa sa ating pagdiriwang ng banal na misa. And we also wish to thank our brothers and sisters who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. Thank you very much for all the support that you are giving to the Manila Cathedral and for being part of our online community. We also wish to thank the staff and servants of the Manila Cathedral who are assisting our, at our Mass this morning. And most of all, we wish to thank our presider for today, Bishop Broderick Pabilio. Bishop, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa amin ngayong araw na ito. Palakpakan po natin si Bishop. 
since he was installed as apostolic vicar of Taytay in Palawan last August. Ngayon na lamang ulit nakadalaw si Bishop sa atin. And uh, we unite ourselves with the uh, Apostolic Vicariate of Taytay, especially our brothers and sisters who were affected by the recent typhoon. At uh, tayo po ay patuloy na sumusuporta sa ating mga kapatid at sa mga pangangailangan din ni Bishop at ng kanyang Vicariate. And Bishop, we always pray for you and your mission in Taytay, Palawan. Muli po Bishop, maraming maraming salamat po. Then. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ to do the mission of Jesus. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sinasamba kana namin, pinipinto kana namin, aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno. Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan, ang krus mong pinagdayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, dinaramal ka na. Padre Jesus Nazareno, ni lugar at ikan kami. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, ni naramal ka kami. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno. Lord, I'll be your man.